Greetings and welcome to the first episode of Lua Tutorials. And if you want to get started right away, you can follow the on-screen instructions or you can go to the description and hopefully download everything we'll need from there. And this is, this is something that I'll use throughout the span of the series. It is not necessary for you to have this when actual modding comes out. So if you don't want to install it for whatever reason, you don't have to. But of course, I recommend it if you do plan to do some programming alongside me. Just as a disclaimer, this uses, uses an older version of Lua, which is not as modern as the ones you might see on the Lua website, but at the same time, for the sake of learning, I think it should suit our needs just fine. This will be a two-part series. The first part will encompass 10 episodes or so where, where I cover the basics, so if you never do did any programming, this is where you should get started. And the second part is for when actual Afterbirth Plus comes out, is where we'll learn to actually create some mods and hopefully how to put them into the game. Another thing that we'll need is a way to kind of write our code. And we can do that by using an IDE that we got alongside with the installer I've given you. It's called site. And if you open it, it should look a little bit something like it looks like right now on the screen. And at this point, you don't have to worry what exactly that means or what it does, but just, just be wary that this is where we write our code and then the program kind of does everything we, we, we want it to do for us. So before I sign off, I just want to give you a quick overview of the things we're going to be taking care of in the first part of the series, so the first 10 episodes. Like I said, this is meant for more of the beginners that never did any programming. And if you're looking at the screen and you're confused as to what these things are, don't worry, I got you covered. I'm going to explain everything in great detail when we get to it. And if at any part you feel like I explained something too fast or maybe there weren't enough examples, please leave a comment and I'll make a follow-up video on that topic to kind of, you know, maybe give you more examples or maybe try to explain something in better detail or whatever. And if you just encounter any questions or problems, like I said, please, 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 please leave, leave them somewhere to be seen because I'm sure not only I, but there are a lot of people that are more than willing to help you. With that said, that is it for the first part, and this is hopefully your set now, and the next episode that comes out will encompass the first basic things that we're gonna tackle. That means basic math operations and logical operations. And I hope that I'll see you there next time. So, have fun.